Oh, oh boy. Uh, <laughs> a switch port got owned. All right. Yeah, this is so. This is like. This is obviously this. Is, this is the PC port of this guy is six. Obviously, it's going to look better than the Switch version because it's a Switch. But I wanted to make a review that is funny. So this is what I did. Um, so what, what makes a game good? So we can we can think think about it in two ways not two ways how about one way aesthetic beauty uh, when a game looks good then it just makes you feel 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 good you know like this is aesthetically pleasing speed the way the game moves how fast it is you know how how well you can do the thing you want to do is it a racing game yeah <laughs> catch me on and, the track no <laughs> it is a strategic rpg that you can speed up really really fast sometimes on the switch other times no but there's this and there's this value to your eyes and brain which are connected to your hands which makes the game go it makes you feel good and sometimes when you're playing a game on the switch it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel good on your eyes or your brain so I like all of that to you, say it's you start lead, like slowly going into a scream it starts off and now it's just all caps <laughs> All that to say, good gaming is good. Good, oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> me and the boys defending Nintendo. <laughs> so listen, uh, we which one's I've, me? <laughs> you're the guy the on the on the far right, the unshaven one. Yeah, the guy on the far, far, far right. With the head, like real life, baby, just like real life. It's crazy <laughs> how, like. I know it's like it's dumb to say it's crazy how much a game, how much better a game looks on the Switch versus the PC, but like it's the this game isn't really a demanding looking game to begin with. It's a very simple, like simple character design, simple like aesthetic. There's nothing like demanding in the graphics. It's just really interesting how bad they made this game look. They needed to make three different performance modes for the game to work on the switch. There's the normal mode, which is like, like 720p at like 22 frames a second on the switch. Then there's like the performance mode, which is like 30 frames a second is really jaggy. And then there's the, t like the 240p version mode that runs yeah. at 60, 60 frames a second. And it's crazy. It's crazy that they need to like, that they just can't figure out a way to just make it kind of work. Like how Capcom does with monster hunter, how, mario games are or zelda games are like they are 30 frames a second that's fine but they run and they feel good to handle and control you know it's very strange to me how some of these games just just don't like work and they don't feel good to play um Look at this. This is an actual screen screenshot. I kept it 720p, by the way. This is an exact screenshot of the game running on the Switch in performance mode. Oh, hello? <laughs> so this is th that's 30 FPS mode. Yes, 30 FPS mode. Um, I don't know why. Oh, Lordy. But it's stinky. No, no, no. It's bad. <laughs> Warning: No babies allowed from here on. This is this is an adult yeah. only. This is an adult only review now. Not to for the price that, of two Nintendo Switches. Your disguise six could look like this. Look at this. <laughs> this is even on the All PlayStation. Eight. This is a PlayStation Four. This is the PlayStation Four screen screenshot I grabbed. Like. It doesn't take that much. Like, <laughs> it, it takes two, I mean, two Nintendo Switches. <laughs> yeah, it takes. I mean, the Switch. I mean, the PS4 is probably like three and three Nintendo Switch lights at least. So you got got that. But like, it's just crazy how much better it feels to play this game on the PC. Like, I I started up. I was like, this feels like a brand new game. Like, and this is how it made me feel. I was like. This is how it feels when you play this guy six on PC with over 200 2040p textures and 60 plus frames per frames per second. It's it's a huge upgrade. And I think the PS5 version also came out, PS4 version also came out with the PC one. So I mean if you're gonna like 
want to play the game where it feels good and it doesn't hurt your eyes, uh, definitely play it on there and S- Steam Deck if you have one of those. Did the game come out on uh, Switch first or PC first? It came out on Switch last last year. Got it. And I put in a good 80 hours on that game. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember us talking about it. Yeah. 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 I like and- that. It's got that hollow life stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. I got yeah, they're also on the they also gave me that code for the PC version. Right. right. Um and then th- he was forced to play this guy six on the Nintendo Switch undock mode at 2040p. That's how I felt playing on my Switch Switch Lite. Um yeah, it's just it's the next game I'm reviewing is also a Switch game that I played first yeah. on the Switch and I'm playing on PC. Oh boy. And it's Another game that isn't graphically demanding, but it's just wild to me how these studios just like can't hit it. Like they just can't be like, hey, you know what? Maybe maybe we should make our games look good and play well at the same time. Um, I don't know what engine this game runs in. I know the next game I'm talking about is a Unity game, which generally has issues with mm-hmm. Switch. But Hollow Knight runs pretty well on the Switch, and it's probably more demanding than the game I'm going to talk about. So, and it looks better. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's that's that's this new. Uh, th- this is a two part two part series. Part two is going to be next week. Um, but yeah, if you want to play Disc Guy Six, get it on your Steam Deck, get it on PC, get it on your PS Five, get it on your PS Four, get it on the Switch. I don't care. I it's a good game. It's worth playing. Um, especially it looks if you like, like but on Switch, but but it looks yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's just really what it comes yeah. down to. Like, that's what these reviews are like. This is what, this is why I like grabbing these reviews for games that I've already played because it's like I I've the game's good. I just can now I can talk about like the meat of it. Like, hey, like why does why do why does game look bad on Switch but look good on PC? Or on good on PS4, like um, it's, the, it's just those graphical strange. issues no longer are a part of the conversation, right? Then you can actually talk about the game proper instead of worrying. Yeah. About yeah. So like now, like with this guy of fans, that was the huge thing they talked about. I was like, man, this game runs like doo doo. Like you can just you can just search switch this guy is six game facts and just look at that, and it's just everyone's like, why does this game look like crap? Why does this game run like crap? I've never played a game that feels this bad. And it's like, it's a legit complaint, especially like, because Disgaea, they released Disgaea 2, the re release of that game on the Switch, Disgaea 5 on the Switch, Disgaea 4 on the Switch, and they run amazingly. Hmm. And this game, the only difference is they have 3D models and they're not even that com- complex looking. So it's like, what's the, ex- what, where's the excuse here, guys? Like, where. <laughs> What? Why is adding 3D models to these little dudes making this game run at 240p? Like, uh, it's strange. Um, and I want an I want an answer. I'm expecting one. Oh, what time is it? I'm expecting one in two two hours Japan time. <laughs> I think the, I think they're going to be ready. Uh, but yeah. There's also the I, question of why they even did 3D models in the first place. But that's that's a yeah. They definitely game. look. They they lost. Um, some character, yeah. some Sorry. character. Oh boy, yeah. well, I, I nice. would say uh, doing a lot of heavy lifting. That's yeah. some. <laughs> so I looked at the uh, release dates here, right? And um, mm-hmm. uh, the game launched. Let's see, Switch, PS4, PS5, Switch, and PS4 uh, launched on the same day, um, which from in Japan for Disgaea Six, yeah. which leads Did me to believe that here. the that de- that it was uh, developed for the PS4, and then uh, as the kind of the lead console, lead platform, and then ported to Switch, right? Um, where you look at games that are developed specifically for Switch, like Monster Hunter Rise, developed specifically for Switch, okay, like a game I'm the- talking about next week, yeah. <laughs> and to the games developed specifically for Switch tend to have a tend to have a little bit more <laughs> control of what the console is capable of however yeah. it, you know it's it's typically when they're kind of dual pathing stuff or they know there's gonna be a pc version coming that they're holding back on some things um 
upcoming Sonic Frontiers, the re- everybody says it actually runs great on Switch. Well, it's because the Switch was the lead platform for Sonic Frontier. Uh, surprise, which is why everybody says it kind of looks not that great on other consoles, but it looked great on Switch because that yeah. was your lead. That was your lead platform. Um, uh, and so, yeah, it's. I think in this case, because it was, it was probably PS4 or PlayStation, probably the lead platform. Uh, and the Switch version was like, well, there are more Switches than there are PlayStations in Japan, and PS4s and PS5s combined. So let's, we, we have to we have to make a version for the Switch. Uh, That's regardless. a very Nippon Ichi software decision. Yeah, if I have to say so myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, Japanese companies uh, know right now that if you're making a game, you have to put it on Switch. Because every every game, everybody has a Switch. It's it's the top well, console. You have to put it out there, even though it's not your lead platform. It still has to go there. So you get those you get those ports which are just ugh <laughs> ugh. But it's wild. It's because this guy of five, it runs like a dream on a switch. <laughs> so it's like it, the the only difference is the models. Like what? How many how many edges are on this on this guy? You know, like how many? Well, we don't we don't know that. Though. I mean, like, they, they they literally could have introduced a new engine in order to go with the new art style. I mean, Ooh, it, it yeah. could. Let's who look knows? At, let's let's look at that. This guy of five came out, by the way, two years after this uh, on Switch after PlayStation Four, so they had that good time to kind of get the game actually up and running. Um, it's just yeah. it kind of boggles my mind. Hmm. The only difference, like essentially, in this guy of six, besides the characters, is the numbers are bigger. Hmm. <laughs> so like you can reach 999 million i think level oh, and like That's and like 10 set a 10 quadrillion damage which is different from the other games um uh, like that's like that like is it the numbers that's making the switch go oh god i can't do this like <laughs> don't know this is very interesting <laughs> to me i also think um, it is it's seventy dollars on PC. Wow, is it? It is. Wow, um, that's a very Nippon Ichi software decision, <laughs> if I gotta say so yeah. myself. I was just uh, taking a look at the Steam. That game is hey. I take it back. This game is not worth seventy bucks. So I... wait for it to go on sale. <laughs> Add it to your wish list to get that email. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was, yeah, I was just browsing. And I was like, man, I wonder how much I can get this guy a six for. And I saw 70 bucks and I was huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the games were on sale during the Steam sale. You could get like all f- the games that are on the on Steam, all the Disgaea games for like 40 bucks. So you kind of missed out. 